Revo Studio. Revo Studio is a post-processing application to edit individual 3D model and to align multiple 3D models. Download and Setup. Please visit revo.3d.com to download the latest version of Revo Studio software. Revo Studio Introduction Please open Revo Studio. On the main menu panel, you can see different function buttons that you can click to get the corresponding function. Edit The edit bar will help you to select the needed part of your 3D model and remove the unnecessary or unsatisfactory part of scan. Point The point bar will help you to optimize the point cloud model. Mesh the mesh bar will help you to optimize the meshed model. The meshed model and the point cloud model can be converted to each other. Alignment. When you need to merge multiple scans into one model, then the function of alignment will help you in that. View. The view bar will allow you to review the model from different angles. Help. When you need help and feedback to our developers, please click this help bar. Demonstration of features. Edit. Import a point cloud model file. Use right mouse button to select unnecessary parts by select by rectangle or select by polygon. Click delete to remove them. If the selection is incorrect, click clean selections to restore it. When you want to use any point as the center of rotation to check the object in multiple directions, click Set Center of Rotation and then click the new center point and to change the center of rotation. Point. Click Point to process the point cloud model file. When you need to clip the unnecessary parts easily, use the Clip tool to cut the model plane. Click the right mouse button and drag. The clipping plane will appear as a line. The portion of the model in the direction of the arrow will be saved. When you need to smooth flat or curved surfaces, click the Smooth tool. The level determines the degree of smoothness, so the point cloud data can be more smoother. You can set up the parameters in advanced. Higher values for radius and iteration result in smoother surfaces. Isolation tool helps you to remove point cloud data that is isolated from the main body of the object. Detect and check if the red area is the chaff. When there's no problem, click Apply to remove the isolated parts. When you remove the data points that do not improve the accuracy, the Simplify tool will help you. For example, adjust to 0.4. After the Simplify, you can see the point cloud data has been reduced. In the case of staggered layers of point cloud in the same area use the overlap detection tool to detect and delete them. When you have a clear point cloud model and need to transform it into a meshed model, use meshing tool to get the meshed model and to do more things possibly such as 3D printing. Mesh, when you have a meshed model and need to process it, Please use the tools below to help you get the needed model. Use the clip tool to cut the model plane when you need to remove unnecessary surfaces. To smooth flat or curved surfaces, click the smooth tool. Remove extraneous mesh data that is separated or only loosely connected to the main body. The Simplify tool helps you to reduce the number of polygons in the model while retaining as much detail as possible. Adjusting the parameter indicates the proportion of mesh data that you need to simplify. Use Sharp tool to make the meshed model more concave and convex, so the details of the 3D model would be sharpened. Use fill holes to fill the missing part on the surface.
when you need to convert the meshed model to the point cloud model. Use this tool, convert to point cloud. Alignment. Use alignment tool to make multiple scans to be combined and merged into one object, two at a time. Click maker points at the same place of two scans. Then you will get a whole model. View. When you need a different view of the model, switch between the orthogonal view and the perspective view. The bounding box is the maximum boundary of the model displaying. For example, to check if there are extra flying spots, use the Show Bounding Box tool to see them clearly. When you need to display the rotation of some objects with no obvious features such as sphere, cylinder, etc., click Show Trackball tool. It will let you know the rotation direction of the model.